Good morning, leaders. Happy Thursday, guys. I hope everyone is having a fantastic morning. I have been doing all the mama things this morning. Zane is now taking a nap, so we are going to get some work done. Um, let me see if I can tag anybody because you guys, I figured out how to tag people. So I'm gonna tag some people, and if you guys are able to watch live, that's fantastic. If not, no biggie. Just let me know that you're watching the replay. And yeah, I will get started in just a few seconds. Um, you always know what you see is what you get with me. Ain't no new thing in 2023. So, tag some people. If anybody hops on, wonderful. If not, I'll talk to myself. I don't care. 2023 is all about growth for me. Um, <clears throat> growth personally and just doing the things that I know need to be done, even if um, nobody's watching <laughs> on a live. That's fine. So, um, I really wanted to talk to you guys this morning about when did we make this business complicated okay when did we decide for ourselves that this business is complicating um so if y'all can buckle up this morning dirty hair no makeup rocking a tank top in january because it is going to be in the 70s today it might be 70s right now i don't really know so, when did we overcomplicate this business, okay? I want to be very, very honest with you guys, per usual, very honest with y'all. In 2022, I did a lot, good morning, Miranda, did a lot of, um, a lot of overcomplicating this business. A lot of things I was implementing into my business were complete fluff. Um, I was stepping away from systems that I knew would get me the results that I wanted and I was overcomplicating things, okay? I have owned up to that. I have reflected on it and I have figured out what I need to do to get away from overcomplicating this business. This business is not complicating, guys. This business is not complicating and I'm coming to you guys as leaders this morning, afternoon, it is 11.50 in the morning. I'm coming to you guys and I'm being vulnerable with you guys and I'm letting you know that it's okay to feel lost. It's okay to feel like what you've been doing in your business is not working. It's okay to pick up your kit because we don't need to put our kit down, right? It's okay to pick up your kit and say, okay, what I was doing wasn't working, but I know that if I put my kit down, I know that if I put my kit down, that's rule number one, that my business is not gonna be successful if my kit is on the floor. If my kit is on the floor over in the corner of my house collecting dust and I haven't spoken about my business in days, weeks, months, that is number one going to be a no-no, okay? Hey, Brianna, Brianna, sorry. I, I, there's so many, so many different ways to say that. Hey, Brie, that's what I'm going to say. Why are we overcomplicating this business? Number one, you need to pick your kid back up. You need to put your kid, pick your kid back up because I'm going to tell you what right now, your kit can and will change your circumstances. Hey, Alex, it can and will change your circumstances in any point of your life. Okay. Pick your kid up. Pick your kid up, okay? We are not overcomplicating this business anymore. No more. And we're gonna talk about this morning. We're gonna talk about as leaders. Sometimes we have to take a step back and we have to say, okay, what? why is this not working? Why am I overcomplicating this? Why am I making this hard? When there's only a few things that you have to do to be successful in this business, truth, Truth right there. There are only a few things that you have to do to be successful in this business. Number one, you have to pick your kid up. You gotta pick your kid up. 
If your kit, like I said, if it is in the corner of your house, I, I'm, you know, I'm painting a picture right now. If it's in the corner of your house collecting dust, pick it back up. Pick it back up. You have every tool in that kit, okay? Number one, what's in that kit? Testers. <clears throat> Since he sells itself. But if people do not know that you are open for business and that you were the Cincy person, that's a problem. If people don't know that you're doing Cincy because you're making it a point to talk about Cincy in at least every conversation, you're making it a point to be consistent in the way that you show up in your business, you're making it a point to be consistent in the way that you show up on social media, you're making it a point to make sure that when people think about Cincy, they think about you. you gotta pick your kit back up and you gotta be consistent with it, okay? In your kit, when you decided to join Cincy, and you guys are all leaders, you guys have been in Cincy for a while, or you're a new leader. Um, you've been in Cincy for a while. Why'd you put your testers down? Why'd you put your testers down? Those testers, that simple scent, the amazing fragrance of a wax bar, the amazing fragrance that is in that tester. Pick it up. Pick it up. Get it underneath people's noses. Expand your customer base. Guys, you have to party. You have to party. Listen to me. Stop overcomplicating it. Nobody wants to listen to me. Nobody, um, nobody's working. Then expand your customer base and rebuild. 2023 is the year of rebuilding and rebirth in your business. If you have been in a place in your business and you're like, I am stagnant, nothing's happening, everybody's falling off, nobody's working, look in the mirror and are you working? I'm being very honest with you guys right now because I have been in the place where I looked at my bar report and I said, wow, why have I been so stagnant with recruiting? Why have I not seen growth in my team? Because I wasn't doing the things that needed to be done. I'm always partying. But if you're not partying, you're not expanding your customer base, your team is watching you. Whether you're a brand new lead consultant or you're a superstar consultant or you're a director or star director, you have to party. And I'm telling you guys this because it is crucial, crucial to a successful business. Because if you guys have ever listened to Katie Lasseter before, she is guru in my mind. She is just love her to pieces. If you don't listen to her trainings, I highly recommend go on her YouTube channel and let her pour life into you. But she says all problems in this business can be solved by partying. If you are not partying and you're saying to yourself, nobody wants to party. If you're not partying yourself, your team is not going to party. If you're not sharing how you're having joint conversations, your team is not going to have joint conversations. If you're not sharing how you're getting Cincy Club subscribers, your team is not going to think it's important to get Cincy Club subscribers. Do you see what I'm saying? It starts with you. It starts with you and where it starts is booking parties. Because with booking parties, you are dealing with one person, okay? One person who is outside of your circle. That one person has a circle. That circle has a circle. That circle has a circle. That circle has a circle. So you are partying. You're getting new customers. You are expanding your customer base. And then you are making sure that those customers don't leave because you're following up and you're making relationships and you're texting them because you have their phone number because they or if they ordered online, you automatically have their phone number and their address. You're texting them, you're saying, thank you so much for your support. I'm gonna add you to my VIP page if you don't mind. If you don't already have a Cincy consultant, I would love to be your Cincy consultant. And then you're gonna ask those people to party. Hey, do you want free and half off Cincy? Hey, right now it's double host rewards. Do you wanna do a very simple online party? You don't even have to say party. If you're in Feet to Faith, because I, I opened that up to everybody in our group, Look at the screenshots that I just put. I literally just had a brand new uh, brand new customer. I uh, used to teach with her in Greenville. She has been watching my journey. Y'all have almost been doing Cincy for seven years. April will be seven years. She has never purchased from me, ever. 
But this right here shows me that me showing up on social media and me showing up that Cincy is such a part of my life is, is showing me that people are still watching me. Huge. I said, hey girl, it's Amber. I emailed you back because she, she placed an order and emailed me to make sure that I got it. I emailed you back, but I wanted to text you and say thank you again. I invited you to my VIP page on Facebook too. Also, it's double half, double half off host rewards right now. I didn't know if you might want to get even more goods for free and half off for y'all's new house because she told me she just got in her new house and that's why she placed a big order. Okay? Center thing of the host rewards. Boom. Another party booked Monday. If you're not partying, your, your, your people are not going to party. Book parties. Book parties. Book parties. And share how you're booking parties with your team. Some people are going to take it and run with it. Some people are, you're not going to have to do anything and they're just going to take off and soar with their business. Some people need that extra, extra help. Share your verbiage. Share how you are booking parties, okay? Stop overcomplicating it. But if you're not partying and you're sitting in woe is me land, party of one, woe is me land, that's what that is. Get out of your head, pick your kid up, and book some parties. That's where the secret sauce is is consistently show up for your business. Y'all, this business can and will change your life. It can and will change your life, and I know that because it has done that for me. But if you're sitting there in Woe Is Me Island, Woe Is Me Island, you can't book parties while you're in Woe Is Me Island. You can have maybe five minutes. Woe Is Me, can't book parties, then you're gonna do something about it. Go through your order history on Workstation. Text every single person that you know, asking them if they want double half off and free Cincy this month. What's the worst that's going to happen? You sit on Woe Is Me Island, not booking any parties, it's going to stay stagnant. Or you do something about it. You text people and say, do you want free and double half off Cincy this month? They ignore you. They say, no, thank you. Or they say, what does that entail? That's all that's gonna happen. I challenged my team this morning to do a booking blitz. I'm doing it right beside them. No, I'm not doing it in a, in a chunked out 15 minutes because I don't have that time right now because Zane is a, is a little terrorist. But I'm doing it alongside them. And then I'm showing them that I'm doing it alongside of them. You have to show your team how you're working. You have to show your team how you're working. Okay? Stop overcomplicating it. Book the parties, okay? And then when you expand your customer base, share the opportunity with people. You're not gonna die when you do that either. Share the opportunity. Do you know how many people would be blessed by the extra income of Scentsy? Do you know? If you are watching live right now and your life is blessed by the extra income of Scentsy, please drop an amen. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, our Scentsy income pays our bills. I stay home with my son because of Sensi. Since he has changed my life, it has gotten me away from teaching and it has given me the ability to stay home with my son instead of putting him in a daycare with people who do not know him. Point blank period, stop over complicating it. Have conversations, have conversations, have conversations, follow up, have conversations, follow up, have conversations, follow up. Do you have systems in place? Do you have systems in place? Are you sharing that with your team that whenever you get a new teamy, you're saying, okay, very easy. I can go to my Google Drive and I know exactly what I do when I have a new recruit. I send them this email. I send them this to-do list. I tell them that we're gonna set up their launch party. I tell them that I'm gonna run it for them. I need them to engage. Do you have a system in place? Do you have a system in place? If not, I'm going to challenge you to do that. Make it simple. Simplicity and duplicatable. That's going to get you very far in this business. Don't overcomplicate it. Party, expand your customer base, build your team, train them, teach them the way so they can go the way and show the way themselves. Repeat, do it in a huge cycle. It's not complicating. We have made this so complicating, but what we need to do is get back to the basics. We need to get back to the basis of booking parties, getting new customers from those parties, booking parties from that party. If you're like, I don't even know where to start, that's where you need to start. And you teach your team to do the same thing. Having a party and booking parties from that party, okay? 
and making sure that you're taking the care of those customers so intentionally that they don't want to leave you. I don't care if you're doing happy mail. Let's get away from that, okay? But Amber, I can't afford to do happy mail. Stamps are crazy right now. I don't care about happy mail. I'm saying, are you texting these people and saying thank you? It goes a very long way. Are you getting on your workstation and finding their phone number and texting them? Are you finding them on Facebook and adding them as a friend? Are you adding them on Instagram? Are you making it to where you are fostering a relationship? Because that's what that is. You're starting a relationship with these people that otherwise would not have known you. More, more likely than not. Y'all, my new teamie that just joined nine days ago who just hit certified, I would not have known her if she did not attend a party I did like two years ago. I've never met her in real life. I know her through a party. Do you see what I'm saying? If I didn't intentionally create that relationship from that party, she would not now be a Sensi consultant on my team. It's very important. Stop over complicating it. This is a people business. This is a people relationship business. Do your part, foster relationships, make people feel important. A thank you goes a very long way. Back to systems, stop over complicating it. I was over complicating systems. I was running around with chicken with my head cut off, having everything trying to do, take my brain and pour it onto sticky notes all the time. Okay, that worked. My life was very sporadic. I now have the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, these, and then I add to it to keep up with who I'm talking to, who I'm, what, um, what teamies I'm reaching out to. I, I can look back at this and say, wow, that did work. Okay, stop making it complicating. The um, three legs of intentional six or whatever, three legs of monthly success list that I've done for almost two years now. Are you, I'm just gonna flash that at you guys. Are you keeping up with who you're talking to? Are you keeping up with who you're working with? Are you keeping up with mail outs you're doing? Are you keeping up with stuff? Stop making it complicating. It's not complicating. Book parties, have conversations, make people feel special, make relationships, share the joint opportunity, Talk about club, talk about club, talk about club. Somebody falls in love with the Valentine's Day sense, cool. I'm in love with them too, but guess what? After this month, they're gone. Are you sharing with your team that you're talking about people joining club because they can't get those scents or bring back my bars after this month? Talk about the, 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 the perks of being in club. Show up for your business and watch it bless you. But if you're not going to show up and you're going to leave that kit in the corner and you're going to overcomplicate things, I can guarantee you, your business is going to sit in the corner and collect us with your kit. But I don't think any of you guys joined Sensi for that to happen. And if you did, maybe Sensi's not for you anymore. But I can guarantee you, you joined Sensi because you saw it bless somebody else's life and you said, okay, maybe I can do that. Or maybe somebody else believed in you and they, they told you you could do it. You love Scentsy, you're passionate about the products, you can do it. Guys, it's as simple as sharing. Share the products. Our products are amazing, they sell themselves. We are not in the sales. I know it's sales, I know it's direct sales, but everybody loves Scentsy. Are you sharing it? Are you being authentically you? Are you using the stuff in your house? Are you teaching your team that it's better to take a selfie with a product than post a flyer? Are you teaching people that? Are you showing how you're working? Are you showing up for your business? People are watching you. People are watching you, and I'm gonna guarantee you this. People are watching you to see two things. Two things, they're waiting to see if you're gonna to continue to be successful or they're waiting for you to fail. And that's just how human race goes. They're waiting to see if you're successful and you're gonna keep up with this journey or waiting to see if you're gonna fail. Show up for yourself, you're, you're worth it. Show up for yourself and shock yourself. Stop overcomplicating things. This business is not complicating. But I'm gonna tell you what, if you're waiting for the moment to be motivated all the time, that moment is not gonna come. If you're waiting for someone to come in and save you and work your business for you, that is not going to happen. You have to show up day in and day out. 
You have to show up on the days when you don't feel like it and you have to stay consistent. You have to stay consistent. Consistency is going to change your business. Consistency in the right areas of your business, booking parties, having joint conversations and sponsoring and getting club members. The consistency of having conversations. If you're not having conversations, you're gonna stay stagnant. Your mouth is closed, your business is closed. So 2023, the whole year, whole year, are you going to stay overcomplicating this or are you going to make this thing work? Now, when you joined, I don't care when you joined, you could have just joined yesterday. When you joined, you said, I'm going to do this for me. Remember back when you joined. I want you guys to look back, be able to look back and say, thank God I didn't give up. Thank God I stopped overcomplicating things and doing the things that I knew I had to do to be successful. Do the things successful people do and do it really well. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, still continue to do it until you convince yourself that you can do it. This has not always been easy for me, especially hopping on here, guys. Hopping on here. I have no makeup on, my hair is filthy, I'm out of dry shampoo, my husband has my car, and I don't have a car to go to the store to get my dry shampoo, okay? Y'all wouldn't know that, right? But I'm still showing up for my business. I'm showing up here right here for you guys. My tooth is still broken, I get it fixed next Tuesday. I'm still showing up. My circumstances do not change the way I show up in my business because I know the things I have to do in order to be successful in this business. And it's not overcomplicating things. So I'm going to challenge you guys today. Book the parties. Share with your team how you're doing it. Challenge them to do the same thing. Okay? You don't. If you're a lead, well, you're all leads. Leads and above. If you don't have any parties booked, you have a lot of the month left. Double host rewards. Okay? If you're not having sponsoring conversations, you need to text some people and say, hey, have you ever thought about getting paid off your Cincy purchases? Hey, I was just looking at your club account and you have so much in there. Why don't you get paid off of it? Have the conversations and share with your team how you're doing it. But you have got to stop overcomplicating this thing. It's not complicating. You're just not doing the right activities. Be consistent. Do the things you know that need to be done and watch your business bloom. What you put in place right now, what you consistently do right now is going to show up six months from now. So in fall and winter of this year, when you say, holy cow, look at this. When you open that paycheck and you cry, it's what you were implementing right now. You're not gonna see the results right away. You're not going to. Stay consistent, stay the course, pick your kid up, dust it off if it's been sitting there for a while, and do the daggone thing. I believe in you. I know you can do it. I know it's hard. If it was easy, everybody would be a superstar director. If it was easy, everyone would be at the top of the compensation plan. But that's just not the way it goes. It takes work. Work ethic. Doing the things that you know need to be done whenever you don't want to do them. Working only when your child is asleep. Coming live, having conversations when you don't have makeup on and your hair is dirty and your tooth is broken, okay? Do the things that need to be done. Life circumstances are going to change every single day. Something can change in a second of a day. Or are you going to stay consistent through the things that happen in life? Okay? I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. And go get them. Book some parties. Have some joint conversations. So proud of you guys. Bye.